Optimizing your Google Shopping campaigns doesn't have to be hard, and it also doesn't have to be time consuming. Some of the easiest ways to optimize your shopping campaigns don't even take more than 15 minutes to do. Seriously, you don't need to be an AdWords expert, you don't need to be a website manager, you don't need to know SEO, you don't need any of these things. You just need to know how to approach Google Shopping in the right way. What you will always need is a plan. You need to have a goal in mind. You need to know exactly what you're aiming for, where you want to be, and why you want to take your campaigns in that particular direction. Now, our team ultimately likes to focus on the most coveted goal of all, profitability. But today, I think we're gonna talk about something that goes along with profitability, and that's increasing your top line revenue. And our team uses this particular strategy regularly. Almost every single customer we help uses this strategy because it is super easy to implement and it drives results. My name's Tony Capitola, Marketing Manager here at Sales and Orders, and today I'm gonna to share with you one of my favorite and one of the easiest ways to optimize Google Shopping, and that is with building a top performers campaign. Now I get this question all the time, how can I squeeze every last little bit out of my shopping campaigns? And to be honest, my go-to every time is building a top performers campaign. As I said earlier, the goal in mind is to drive top line revenue. And the top performers campaign is geared just for that. So you're probably wondering, hmm, Tony, why is a top performers campaign perfect for this? Well, my guess is that you're probably running a primary campaign with all of your products in it. Maybe they're broken down to groups. But the truth is you have a lot of products all lumped together and your top performers are sitting in there just floating around and they're just not getting enough attention. Now by segmenting your top performers away from the rest of your products, you can give them the much needed budget that they deserve. And if you follow our pure ID level methodology, you're gonna gain the most granular level of cost control possible. And there's really three simple steps to follow for building your campaign, all starting with actually going out and finding your top performers using dimensions in AdWords. Now, before you get started finding your top performers, I did want to stress how important it is that you have at least 60 to 90 days of historical data. And the reason is, is you're going to want to have enough of a conversion history to determine what your top performers actually are. And now that you have your 60 to 90 days of historical data and okay, I'll let you get away with 30, but just this one time. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into AdWords. We're going to select the dimensions tab for the primary campaign that you are running all the time. You're going to then select view, shopping, item ID. So what this does is gives us item level data without needing any kind of granularity in your primary campaign. So you can begin to sort and look for top performing products by conversion. Now, the way I like to find top performing products is by first sorting by the conversions column and then finding that little middle part, the part where, you know, your conversions start to taper off. Maybe your top is around 12 to 15 conversions and down towards the bottom in the middle, you start tapering around uh, four or five conversions. So now you know what your conversion range is and you have that what I like to call the conversion sweet spot. So. Use a filter in AdWords and select conversions over your conversion sweet spot. So this would be conversions greater than, let's say four in my example. So my top performers, at least the way the ones I indicate, are any products that have conversions over four and up to the top level of 12 or 15. Great, now with our top performers, all we have to do is export from AdWords. So quickly click the download tool and export these IDs, just your product IDs, that's all we need from AdWords to an Excel or a .csv file. Awesome, now we have our top performers and next we have to actually build the campaign that we're gonna house them in. So start by creating a new shopping campaign and I just wanna stress two specific settings. I want you to make sure that you set your campaign to a high priority and I want you to remember to set this at an accelerated budget delivery. The rest is pretty simple, dedicated budget, max CPC, maybe you're gonna use manual CPC, at least I recommend that. And you know, you can include search partners if you'd like, you do your location targeting, or if you have your primary campaign, you can actually just copy over those settings from there and adjust them based on this top performance. But make sure that you are definitely setting this to a high priority. 
if your primary campaign is set to a high priority as well, I'd like you to go ahead and reduce that down to medium for now. After finishing up your campaign settings and clicking save and continue, your next step is actually to set up the first ad group. Now you have two options here. You can pre-subdivide this ad group. We don't want to do that. Don't do that. Just don't do that. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to select to start with an all products ad group. So you can have one ad group, all your products in it, and that's okay. We still have to break that out into our top performers. Be sure to have your Excel or CSV file handy. And what I like to do, just a little trick, is take just the IDs from that file and copy and paste them into a notepad. That way it's clean, it's just the IDs, and that's all we need for now. Awesome, so we're almost to the end. All we need to do is subdivide our new ad group with our top performing IDs. So, now go to your campaign, click the little plus icon next to your ad group, and you're going to get the subdivide menu. You're going to select at the top to subdivide by item ID, and then right at the bottom you're going to see an option for add bulk values manually. I want you to select that. Now, you're going to get a little field, and all you have to do is copy all your IDs from that little notepad, if you remember earlier, paste them into the field, click the double caret, click save, and wait, you're not done yet. Yes, we do have all our top performing IDs now broken down to the ID level, but AdWords does something tricky. It automatically creates something called an everything else product group. And in this case, we need to exclude it. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is just scroll to the bottom of the interface, and chances are you're gonna find that right at the bottom because you won't have too many IDs in here. Just look for everything else in all products or everything else in whatever you named your ad group. Maybe you named your ad group top performers. No way, right? But in any case, just exclude that. You're gonna click the bid, and you're going to select exclude and click save. And that's it, you're done. Yes, we did it. We built our top performance campaign. That's it, that's all we have to do. Yes! Doing the happy dance. Doing the happy dance. Doing the happy dance. Doing the happy dance. I'm sorry, I just couldn't contain myself. But you know what? We now have a top performers campaign, and even better, it's built to the pure ID level, the most granular, the best possible structure you could possibly have for this one campaign. And now, you are one step closer to that goal of driving top line revenue. Now, I don't want you to forget that your job is not done. Just because you have this campaign and it has your top performance in it doesn't mean you can't do a little bit better. With this one campaign, though, now you have each individual product broken out. So, using simple AdWords filters, you can begin to optimize this campaign even more throughout time. My name's Tony Capital, and thank you once again for joining me for one of the easiest and quickest ways to optimize Google Shopping, and that's all with building a top performers campaign. Be sure to check out our blog at blog.salesandorders.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check us out on Twitter, at Sales and Orders.